Hey guys, it's Owen. What's up? Um, so I am doing a video on how to deal with transphobic family members and friends and the impact it has on our lives and our mental well-being. I came out uh, to the world last June, I believe, on Facebook. Um, most were very, very, very accepting. My sister-in-law was not. Um, she has since then come around. I don't think she agrees with me being transgender, but she has, uh, she treats me, um, like she always did, which not always nice, but it's what I'm used to. It's, you know, what, what can you do? Um, my aunt in Florida, that's my dad's sister, my biological father, um, I came out in a letter. I wrote to her telling her how I felt my whole life. I explained the medical studies that have been done on transgender and the, our, how our brains are formed and that this is a medical condition, in my opinion, like a birth defect, um... And she uh, told me to give my kids up and never to speak to her again. And then she hung up on me twice. I've called trying to reach out and I've been met with uh, hate. I knew what she was like. I knew what she felt about transgender people. It wasn't a shock to me. She's mean on a good day. But it still hurts because that's the last connection I have to my father because he's passed on. Um, my mom's sister, uh, one of them have uh, disowned me completely. I don't even get mentioned. I don't even get a hi. I have reached out to her through Facebook. She will not talk to me. I sent her Chase Ross videos. I wrote her letters explaining everything and still... She refuses to have anything to do with me. My uncle's girlfriend, who I've known since I was a teenager, has decided I don't exist anymore. Um, she has it so I can't contact her. She's unfriended me. If I comment on anything on her videos on Facebook, she will delete them. Uh, so... That is, it's been pretty lonely. I will tell you this. There are times I feel like shit. I, I, I do. I feel like I am a freak. I know I'm not a freak. I know this is their issues and not mine. But does that make it any better? No. It hurts. There are times I have felt like giving up on life completely. I have felt, I've contemplated killing myself. I, I, I self-harm. I'm getting better at that. I, there are days I, I, I find I, it is too much for me. And then there are days where I feel great. I feel happy. I am trying to get my top surgery. I try and look towards positives. Um, but dealing with transphobic family members, you know, they're, they've been in your life, your whole life. You've known them. They're supposed to love you. They're supposed to accept you for who you are. If they don't accept you, how's the world going to accept you? That's my opinion on that. It, it's, it's almost to the point where you have to decide, okay, you can either live your life according to what those people want and you can be miserable. You will be miserable. You can't live your life for anybody else. Or you can decide that no matter how hard it is right now, I'm going to keep fighting. I deserve to be happy. I deserve to live. I deserve to be who I'm meant to be. I, you know, so they don't accept you. The hell with them. You don't need these assholes in your life. You are valid. You are a person. God created you just the way you are. Transgendered has been around for as long as human beings have been. This is how our brains are formed. We can't control that. 
like a person with heart disease that needs a heart transplant. You're not going to tell them you have to live with the heart that God gave you. Even though it'll kill you. You will die. But that's how you're born. So really, you have to deal with it. No, we don't say that to people. We support them. So why is this any different? That's what you need to say to these people. Why is this any different than any other medical condition out there? You can believe this is a mental illness. That's fine. It doesn't it doesn't take away from the fact that the only per, the only real treatment out there is to transition. It's been proven. In California, it's illegal to do conversion therapy. Why? Because it doesn't work. That's what it's not us pushing our views. It's because it's been proven over and over and over again that we are transgendered. We it's not what we believe, it's what we are. And if if friends and families cannot wrap their minds around that that's their issue that is says so much about them and not you as a person so keep the fight don't give up maybe one day they will come around and if they don't their loss because we are here to stay we are not going anywhere and if they have the issue, then they have to deal with it.